And don't forget to like and subscribe. I am now on part two of chapter seven, Honor of War. Uh, yes. Let's just jump right into it. No need to mindless, needlessly talk. <laughs> uh, as you could tell, I tend to like to speak. Fodder. He heard behind him as the others began sprinting as well. By the time they arrived to the village, by the time they arrived at the village, all they heard was a murmuring as people gathered. And then the bell ra bells rang, calling all in the town for an important meeting. The bells had only been rung once before, and that time was and that time it was just to test them to make sure all could hear. Hearing them this time and knowing it wasn't a drill was alarming to all of the people, creating confusion as well as fear. There was there was no order to the meeting. When Ash and his friends got there, the whole place was already in an uproar with the news. The leader of standing had passed an edict that all towns must send 50% of all eligible men to join in the war effort. One man loudly repeated, apparently the elves found out about him saying he was the ruler and threatened him. Huh. Why is it, if this sentence could, like, this is something I have to talk about later. Page 80. And threatened him. He heard from another area. As more people showed, showed up, more the story, more people showed up, more the stories were repeated. The more the stories were repeated. I should have flipped those two. The more the stories were repeated. And just as quickly as it got loud, there were... from Got loud from where the source of the message started, it became silent. Nothing could be heard except for the sound of a nail being struck into the wood. Ash left the others and went towards the sound. A messenger, or the messenger, who had come by horse, was hanging a banner with lettering, with lettering. On it read, Gerd, Lord of Standing, the first ruler of men, the one to bring peace, has decreed that all his subjects must send 50% of their men who are of age to standing for the honor to fight alongside the elven forces in order to bring an end to this long confrontation. These who speak of glory, these who speak, these who seek the glory of combat and join the war effort will be compensated for every day in the in the army with land and possible titles and for those who do not return their families will be funded for cycles of service all villages have until the end of the season to send at least 10 percent of their first batch of men to standing and we will use the citizen roster to make sure you are in compliance Ash stared at the words on the sign. It was not registering with him that the day was here. The village had spoken of it already many times as a recurring topic. Ash and his friends had dreamed of the day when they would be... Ash and his friends had dreamed of the day when they would be able to leave this small town and go 
to the now human capital for the opportunity of making a living by means other than from farming, at least in Ash's case. Hey, a voice said. Hey, Ash slowly arrived back home. Oh, Ash slowly arrived back to the moment. Hey, Ash turned to see Holus staring at him with concern. Sorry, I was lost in thought. Ash answered with answered him wistfully. What does it say? Garrett asked as he just started as as he just stared blankly at the lettering. It says that all the towns and villages must send 50% of their men to join the army. Peter said it says it says that all towns and villages must send 50% of their men to join the army. Peter said excitedly, we will travel first to standing for training and get land and honor for every day we serve. Gerd and Holus looked at each other with astonishment as they began to understand. We have a way out. Was the thought that was the one thought that went through all of the four boys heads they all smiled and began to laugh amongst themselves they stopped when they realized they had drawn the attention of all those within earshot ash composed himself and began looking around when he didn't find who he was looking for he turned to peter and asked hey where's your father Void, if I know, Peter said with displeasure of the subject. Why? We will need to sign something if we're going, don't you think? Ash asked them all. Oh, Garrett said. That would make sense, Hollis added. So that way they would know who and how many are leaving the village since they have our population numbers peter finished as he rubbed the newly grown scruff on his chin peter absently looked back at ash and shrugged his shoulders i guess i will s speak about it with him tonight he said as though it gave him a distaste in, as it gave him a distaste in his mouth and let him know about the use of a sign-up sheet he added while rolling his eyes ash had never asked peter directly but it was clearly evident that his father had grown distant that his friend had grown distant from his father to the point where he no longer even respected him. Hey, I am sure your father will understand. Peter looked Ash dead in the eyes and then began to laugh. <laughs> you know, I doubt he will see the use. He is not a bright man, he smirked. How he ended up as town mayor makes no sense to me. He added disparagingly, disparagingly, disparagingly. Hollis and Gerd looked at one another before speaking. Well, that is because he inherited it, Gerd said when he looked back at Peter, confused at the comment. Just like you will be after him, Hollis added. He was not serious. He was not serious, guys, Ash said with a chuckle. But it does raise the question as to why he ended up in charge when he lacks the qualifications. Ash looked over at Peter and lowered his eyes. Sorry, I mean no disrespect. No, you're right, 
Peter replied. The conversation, the conversation, the conversation soon shifted on to a more lively topic. The boys discussed when they might leave, how long they thought it would take to get to standing. And then about the war, excitement filled their voices. Once all the villagers had seen the flyer and returned to their homes, the gang went their separate ways. Holus and Gerd went to their home and to bed to sleep. Peter went home to hopefully convince his father to allow him to leave. And as Ash walked to his home, he was thinking about how to best tell his parents. He planned on enlisting in the war, then decided it would be best to tell them as soon as possible. Yep. I'm going to end it there. Uh, thank you all for listening to me read. Yes, please support me. Get my book if you want to have it finished. If you don't want to watch like 20 hours worth of footage and you just want to like read it because this is like a probably a four hour read if you read it in your head just read much faster four hour three hour if you're a fast reader if you're a very fast reader it could probably just take you a few minutes <laughs> just flip pages because it's only like uh what i mean look 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 at the font uh that's there's 217 pages and look at this font look, look at this font it's it's very very legible so yeah if you know how to read you can easily get get through it um, thank you all for watching. Read to you next time. Toodles. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.